For some families, back to school shopping is pretty routine. You know, you got the basics on the school supply list, the crayons, the markers, some glue, pencils. For others, though, the lists are long and expensive. Many of you have been sounding off on our Nine News Facebook page. Parents are a little stressed over the expensive graphing calculator some of them have to buy. Some even have to get laptops for their kids. And you know, when you think about the fact that some families can't even afford the basics, you see why our annual Stuff for Students Drive is so important. We're donating things here at the Nine News Break Room, too. This is just one table that we fill. Things like those crayons, those notebooks, composition books. We've got a full list on what you can donate on our website, 9news.com, and on the 9 News mobile app. Now, you can also drop off supplies at Larry Miller dealerships and Bright Horizons locations. King Supers has donation boxes you can pick up for just five or ten bucks and the Broncos will be collecting during training camp practices too. For most students there's still time to get all of these supplies but for some students in Aurora the bell has already rung. Some of those schools started today. Now news reporter Amelia Earhart has more on reminders for parents, students and pretty much anyone who drives through school zones. For about 500 high school freshmen, today was day number one as we exit out of summer and head into the school season. And here at Gateway High School, we saw those kids enter into class safely using the crosswalks, arriving by parents, dropping them off, and also on school buses. As you head around town today, keep in mind that Aurora Public Schools is headed back into session, staggering those students over the next several days. Now, here at this school in particular, 321 is when class lets out. So that's when you can expect traffic to pick up. It's just a great reminder. Take it slow, heading through school zones. And remember, if you always assume pedestrians are present in school zones, that's a safe way to think about it. And for kids heading around town, assume every driver is distracted. That way you keep your head up and looking out for those threats. Good advice, Amelia. Thank you.